Are there any like rules or guidelines that you found uh, particularly helpful when it comes to protecting your privacy? Like what, what do we need to know? What do we need to do uh, in order to make sure that that's protected? Uh, there are a couple of things. Um, one is I think you need to be purposeful in how you share data and why you share it. Um, you know, mm -hmm. every website that you go to, they'll say, can we, you know, you know, accept cookies. Uh, we track this or that. So you want to be able to make sure that you do it with purpose, right? So let's say, would you give your social security number to a game? <laughs> You probably say, no, I probably, you know, I don't think that they need that information. It's, it, there's no law against them asking for that information. But I think we need to be better consumers about how we decide we share information. Um, one other thing that I think that I had growing up, um, you know, I grew up in a household where we had one TV in our house. and It was in a public area of the house. So it wasn't like, you know, our parents could monitor what we were watching and what we were doing. And now, you know, it, you know, every room has a TV, everyone has a phone, everyone has a tablet. And especially as a parent, it's hard to monitor all that stuff. So, you know, it takes a lot more work, I think, for parents in that, that regard. And then w one thing I always try to tell parents is that, uh, and this is a very specific thing, which is, you know, a lot of us, we have devices in our homes that invite surveillance, right? So, which are, it could be the ring doorbell, it could be the, the, the vacuum cleaner is going around your house, the smart speaker. The your smart vacuum cleaner is spying on you. <laughs> yeah, it's mapping oh, no. your house. Right, exactly. Oh. And then and with 5G, all these things are going to start to talk to one another, which is a whole other thing. But one thing mm, I would tell parents to do is I don't recommend that they have smart speakers in private areas with their children. So, um, you know, Ooh, we, so like a lot of people do like that's exactly the place that they put them like they'll put them in their living room and stuff. And so like, what's the risk of that? Well, I would I say a, a common area I would be fine with, but like a private area, like a kid's bedroom, um, be problematic because we've seen people hack those devices. And you can have someone like a, a grown up that you don't know really? trying to talk to your kid and you don't even know it through those devices. So you want really you have, like, oh, they, yeah. like they, they speak to your kids through the, the device. Well, I've never. Yeah. Oh, wow. OK, totally creepy, <laughs> totally creepy. That is super creepy. <laughs> so, yeah, I, oh. you know, if you want a smart speaker, have it in a common area in the house. Don't put it in. Yeah, absolutely. Especially if a stranger is going to be talking to my kids. Right. Like, oh, exactly. my goodness. OK. <laughs> wow. OK, that changed my perspective. So one of the things that you said is basically This is a it, it, this is a fight that a lot of families have right now. It's a huge fight. Like I know that when I was growing up too, um, yeah, absolutely, technology, you know, like was mostly in a public space. So we had the TV, and if we had a computer, it was in a public space. Everything was like public that we did on computers. Um, and nowadays, like it's so easy, it's so accessible to get like a device for every single individual in their bedrooms. And, you know, there's this notion, like this thing that kids really fr are frustrated about is they, they wish that they could have more privacy. Like they wish that like, like, why are my, my parents taking away the door from my room? You know, why is it like, why, how come I have no privacy in this house? So this is like new expectation of privacy that we maybe didn't have when we were growing up. So um, to those individuals, like say the, the the younger generation, like if you were to justify like why you've got those, like why why make it public? Why does it need to be like why do you need to use technology in a public space? What would you say to them? Yeah, I think parents need to be very aware of what's going on with their children. And it's hard to do that if they're using devices or communicating with people that you don't know. You know, there are bots on the internet. People can conceal their true identity. They may think they made a friend that's 13 year old, a 13 year old, maybe a 40 year old man from a different state. You know, we've seen, you know, kids be manipulated in ways that parents may not have even known about because they, they, you know, kids are using phones or using computers and talking to people that they don't know about. So it is, I think it makes the job of a parent just so much harder now. 
But I think kids need to understand that parents are trying to protect them and they really need to be involved in what's going on, especially things like bullying. Like that's a huge issue where, you know, let's say growing up, let's say you're growing up and you went to school, you had a bully. When you went home, you weren't being bullied, right? But you yeah. know, on the internet, you that bullying continues you're bullied all the time hours yeah. away uh, a day, mm. right? So that could be mm. a situation where you know kids are despondent, you know, there they have things going on that you may not be aware of, and it could be really detrimental to you know the, the health of the kid. And so this is this is a growing divide between the parents and kids in general. And I've and this is really near and dear to my heart, like because so many on one hand, parents are like, I need to know what's going on, right? But they, they also kind of feel like, because we grew up in this environment where we didn't have social media all the time. And so yeah. everything that's happening right now seems so wrong to us. And so to a certain extent, many parents just dismiss this altogether. And that relates to um, Alice's question, which I thought was really good. Like if we were to flip this around and we were to ask, like how many, how can we educate parents, um, more parents to take safety, who, like they, maybe they take the safety of things on the internet for granted uh, because they just don't know, like they're just not aware of anything. And maybe they're not interested in being aware of any of the stuff that their kids do online. Like what would we recommend? Like, what would you say to those, those parents? Yeah. I would say, you know, the, the internet is like, um, you know, there are really no guardrails, right? There are very few rules about what happens on the internet. So the safety of a kid is really up to the kid unless, you know, obviously there are regulations uh, that relate to children and they tend to be pretty good. But I think those regulations don't go far enough because, the reg re you know, a, a lot of those regulations are based on consent. So if you say yes, it may be, you know, not only with children, but also adults. A lot of times when we're saying yes, we don't know what we're saying yes to, right? You know, a lot of people don't read those 80 pages or terms or conditions or the privacy policies or stuff like that. So you don't really know, you know. So I think for me, you know, I will be limiting and, you know, this is funny. So my my father, I have to put like a parental control for him because I wanted oh. to make sure he wasn't going doing crazy things on the internet, uh, you know, to limit, you know, find out what he wanted, he liked, and then put that stuff on his tablet and then lock down other things, you know? So, I mean, I think that's a good way for a parent, you know, especially if you have to give, you want to give a device to have a kid to play and do whatever. You don't want them getting in trouble or whatever. So you want to be able to have a way to, give them some freedom, right? But then have some guardrails around it. So I think the parents have to bring the guardrails because the internet is not going to do that. Hmm. It's a great point. And uh, it's interesting that you mentioned your father, like having to put some restrictions on that too, because in the same way, like some many parents don't aren't aware of what is really happening when they're doing all this posting and liking. Um, it seems like pretty innocent to just like, hey, I just like this photo or hey, I just posted this thing. Um, and but they're not understanding the full terms and conditions. They're not understanding the full implications of what they are uploading and and how that could be shared or potentially used to, against um, maybe the grandkids or maybe others, you know, in the future, maybe themselves, like maybe it's not that big a deal for them. But I do know that like for a lot of people. When like we were using the Internet. When I was young, like it was for fun, right? Like it, it, no right. big deal, no consequences. <laughs> um, we didn't remember everything. Uh, but nowadays it's like, I know, absolutely, we do. Like we store all that stuff and we, we don't delete it. Even if you say you deleted your account, it's like that doesn't mean that your stuff gets deleted. And so we have to think about things differently. And now it's like you can't get a job without one of these like social media profiles. Like your employers won't even know what you do. And so it's becoming a, a requirement. And right. uh, people think like, oh, it's just like your photos that you upload, but it's not right. Like it's other things like watch time. Right. So they're measuring like, oh, this person like watches this type of video a lot. And so you're, you're if you're not controlling this. Right. For example, like people's subconscious usually controls like how many milliseconds they watch. You're, you're uploading your like a, a version of your unconscious mind. 
right? Like what right. are the things that you deeply desire inside? And it's like, people don't think, oh, I'm, I'm just like, I'm just browsing, whatever. Like, it's no big deal. It's like, no, it's, you, you are sharing a lot of information with companies all the time. <laughs> Absolutely. 